I'd like to welcome you here to Bathgate Park here in Dunedin on a Friday night and welcome you here to Southern Southern Rugby, 140 years this weekend Now I invite you to come and take a journey with me AC, because this weekend I'm going to be a fan just like you and celebrate some of the names at Southern Rugby and New Zealand Rugby, Otago Rugby Shaw, Mainz, Cavanna Joseph, just to name a few. 140 years of awesome rugby. This weekend, I'm going to take my camera and my mic and see who I can bump into and have a chat. Let's see what their thoughts are on 140 years here at Southern. So, come with me. We'll go for a wee journey. First victim of the night, so I'm going to oh, talk to Ian. Oh. So, how are you going, yeah, Ian? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, yeah. Got a bit of straight in this hat. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Yeah, sure. So, favourite team you play for here at Southern? Uh, oh, 2011 Prem Twos. Awesome. And favourite Southern player? For oh, big, big popper case back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just a legend, day. Eh? So, uh, yeah, one of those ones, obviously. So on the age, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, one of those ones when I was at school, um, yeah, looked up to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, what position did you play? Um, left, right, out. No, nah, just uh, <laughs> mostly front row, uh, tight and loose. Nah, awesome, Ian. Uh, and if you want to see Ian, go see him at Biggies. You know where he is. <laughs> right, let's see how else we can grab here. We got see guy here. Hey, Phil, how you going? How you going, mate. You right? All right. Good. Right, favourite year playing here. Probably the first one, 1975. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, and so, favourite uh, Southern rugby player? Uh, I'll say Pete Fisher since he's here. Oh, right, okay then. <laughs> and how about uh, favourite memory playing here at Southern? Uh, well, a couple of years we were in the, uh, pre what they call Prem 2s now. One that won it two years in a row, so it was pretty special. Oh, yeah. Awesome, thanks, Phil. Cheers, mate. Yeah, here going, Blair. Hi, Eddie. Yeah, good, thanks. Good. So, favourite year playing at Southern? Favourite year? Uh, probably early 90s when we had uh, lots of the All Blacks still playing club rugby. That was right. to match up against those sort of guys. Oh, I thought it would have been me in 1990 and our Colts team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we won that many that year. No, I think I got a red card and got a long suspension. <laughs> hey, um, so, favourite Southern rugby player? Currently Mackenzie Hall, pretty excited. Yeah. Favourite memory? Uh, playing for the Cabana on Carisbrook beating Varsity 1992, I think it was. Thanks, Blair. Right, we'll, we'll, grab, we'll, grab, we'll grab Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy, how you going? Good, mate, yeah. 
Hey, Andy, how are you, Andy? <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm all right. Hey, a um, couple questions for you. Favourite year playing here at Southern? 72, we won the banner. Yep. And 75, those two years, won the banner those two years. Yep. Brilliant, absolutely love those years, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So all these guys are here that played in that team, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Here, Jack played 72. Uh, Dave played 69 yep. and 72. Yep. Dave, um, Dave Pisani yep. played 72, 69. Yep. And Clarkie played the whole four. Oh, well done, Clarkie. 69, 72, 75, and 77. Okay, then we'll, we'll, we'll move to this question. Favourite Southern player? Favourite Southern player? I've got to be careful here, eh? Right? There's yeah. four of them all here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll say Brian Burnishaw, yeah. yeah. Or Salwyn Ingalls, yeah. yeah, yeah those Ingles. So, and your favourite memory of playing here at Southern? Oh, just after we win, moving in here, mate, and we knew everybody, and it was different when we lost, eh? But we won most games, eh? So it was good, eh? I loved it, mate, eh? I loved it. Thanks, Loved the scene. OK, Andy. Yeah, thank you. Good on you, mate. Yeah, well, I've got another victim here. So, uh, <laughs> Jamie, how are you going? Good, thanks. Good. Good to be here. So, where'd you come from? Uh, Papamoa. Oh, that's a fair way to come down for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying with family down here, though, mum and that. So, But it's good to be back in uh, Dunedin and at Magpie Stadium. Oh, awesome. So, I've asked the guys a few similar questions. Yep. Favourite year playing here at Southern? Oh, jeez. Where we won the P2s in 2010, was it? 2009? 2009? Yeah. Um, yeah, about around that time was pretty good. And some of the early days too when I was straight out of high school. It was oh, yeah. good. Favourite Southern player? Oh. Yeah, Ian Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> He's paying me to say that. Oh, I was right. <laughs> so it's more advertising for Biggies, is it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've not even had a Biggies pizza, but anyway. Oh, all right. Apparently he wants the franchise up that way too. Oh, does he? Oh, oh, well, we'll see how he goes. <laughs> oh, cheers for that, Jamie. No worries. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, I'm here with Eddie Walter. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I started here in 1973, and uh, sorry, 1974, and went through to 1979 in the Prem team. So we had, uh, I had five years here with, Roy. With, my, here. with my friend <laughs> Ethel. Yeah. My friend this Ethel. Is this is Robbie Roy. Hey, Roy. Eddie. So this is the uh, 1974 to 1979 rugby team, the Prem team. And much uh, Targo cricket oh, player. Yeah, yeah. 19 yeah, so we've been around Thunder Blocks, so here we are. We're coming to enjoy the Southern Rugby hospitality. Fantastic place. So I'm gonna, I've been asking questions. Favourite Southern player? Favourite Southern player? Oh, my God, who's our favourite Southern player? Oh, Billy Somerville. Yeah, he, he's the man. Billy Somerville. Don't tell him, please. He's, he's, he's over at the bar this over here. He's over at the bar somewhere. Yeah, he's the man. Ask me. Yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah and, no. and, you, and, and your yeah, name is Ethel Stevens. How are you doing, Ethel? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Good. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, they call me AC. I'm the club captain here. So oh, good, are you? So, good so, well so yeah, yeah. So who was you, who would your favourite uh, Southern player be? My favourite Southern player in the old Daryl Tuck was a good bugger. He was a good bugger. He was my lock. Oh. I was five. He was four. Oh yeah. For I don't know three, four, five years. Oh. Yes. And and Daryl Daryl uh, wasn't. Uh, lightning fast around the paddock but he got there in time and often we found ourselves going in rucks uh, low and hard oh, oh. No, no he's a good bugger yeah, yeah. he's a good bugger yeah and so it's your, is that one of your favorite memories here at southern favorite memories probably winning in 1975 oh awesome thank you for yeah. that cheers okay cheers. i've just spotted someone the individual steve hotton so how are you going, Steve? I'm going good. How are you? I'm good. So um, I've been running around with a sweet camera and I run the YouTube channel here at Southern. Right. So I was going to run, run around and ask him what favourite year was you when you were playing here? I'd have to pick a year. Yeah, here you go. Oh, um, I, I reckon the first one then. 1980. 1980? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when we first won the, uh, the championship. A lot of those guys are here. Favourite Southern rugby player? Favourite Southern rugby player? Yeah. Kim Woodhouse. Kim Woodhouse. Yeah, I remember that. Fat. Look at him there. Fat, ugly, bastard. <laughs> and so, favourite memory here at Southern? 
or this? Just being here, drinking piss, having a good time, and playing good rugby, and playing hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I, found, I found Ken Woodhouse. How are you doing, Ken? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, so I've been running around asking a few of the old players around here which is their favourite year playing here at Southern. Oh, all of them. All of them? Yeah. yeah. Favourite Southern rugby player? Uh, Ian Willis. Ian Willis. <laughs> what about coach since he's standing here? Ian Willis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer, isn't it? That, that's a good answer. Well, Steve Hotton said you were his favourite player. Yeah. How many beers, Woody? <laughs> None. I've only had one now. So, so what are your favourite memories of being here at Southern? Um, oh, I've got lots of memories. We had a lot of fun here. Yeah. A bit more social back then as well. Yeah. Nah. Good club. Awesome. Thank you, Ken. No worries. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's great to see you all here. It's a celebration, so it's... No need to be sad tonight, it's uh, all about celebrating. Uh, one, one of the things I want to touch on firstly is just how quickly time passes us by. Um, it wasn't, uh, you know, it was only yesterday that, you know, this team that's having a reunion here within a reunion, that's 44 years ago, so years have gone by very quickly. On top of that, if you want to put it in its proper perspective, the first Steinoga Village was 31 years ago. So time has moved very quickly. Now, what's important that with time moving is we do not forget those who have been before us. It's important that we remember those who have contributed to the club's heritage by their deeds on the field. Life membership is not necessarily about how many committee meetings you've been to. It's not about how many cleanups you've been to. You've got to really sit back, pause, and pay attention to the people who have contributed to the tapestry of this club's history. Tonight is the first time in the history of the club where life membership will be bestowed on one of our club greats posthumously in recognition of his enormous contribution as a player a man who helped put this club firmly on the rugby map, both locally, nationally, and internationally. Gary Sear was a man of special qualities and should never be forgotten. When you talk about statistics, well, his statistics stand up with the best. Um, if, I, if I go through them, he started his career in 1973 to 79, had a year off in Italy, came back and played from 1981 to 85. How many men in the history of this club won seven championships? He was one of them. On top of that, he played for the New Zealand Juniors in 72, uh, under 21s in 72, the New Zealand Juniors in 73, a member of that famous junior side that beat the All Blacks at Carisbrook. And that's something that's firmly etched in a lot of our minds if you're up my age and my age group. And then he captained the New Zealand Juniors in 74. He was All Black 7 4 8 and had 34 games for New Zealand, including 12 tests. This is a remarkable record. And then, just to top it off, throw in 119 games for Otago. Now, if you extrapolate those figures and put them into a number of hours on a training field, uh, getting to and from a game, playing a game, we're talking thousands and thousands of hours. If we're looking at what it takes to be an international player pre-professionalism, it was an enormous financial cost. And that's what they had to do back in the day. The day of going to Ireland, playing in Dublin, playing in London and coming back to New Zealand, that wasn't what it was like then. To tour South Africa, like he did with Laurie in 76, was a long haul, and obviously at a significant cost. It's a bit different these days. The manager walks down the bus and the money's gone in your bank and it's plenty. In those days, the manager walked down the bus and gave you $2, and with your bit of luck, it might have covered the cost of a job. That was reality. So Gary's career was absolutely superb. Actually, uh, I had the opportunity of playing against him as well as for him, because I, I actually started the varsity before I came to Southern. 
So, <laughs> but I, I will say this: to play against him was always a challenge. To play with him was an absolute privilege. I think everyone in this room would understand that his approach to rugby is second to none. It didn't matter what jersey he wore, he gave everything 100%. I just want to finish on a very, very excellent quote from Steve Brockbank, which was in the AGM report, our report in 1985. And it reads as this. Certainly no other members of the Southern teams I've been associated with has contributed as much to the seniors as he has. Whether it be the game, at practice or socially, Gary has always been willing to contribute 100% and his efforts will be greatly missed by future Southern teams. And that's the mark of the man. And that was aptly right, Steve Brockleback. Well done. So, at this stage, it is time to recognise one of the true greats, one of the guys that put him on the field for the Southern Rugby Club. And bear in mind also that he was a coach as well at the club, but it gives me great pleasure to ask Julie to come forward and receive this. Welcome back to Bathgate Park on Sydney and it's time for Sydney football and a celebration of 140 years here at Bathgate and Southern. Last night was a brilliant night, we caught up with a few old friends and today it's footy time. We're playing Zingaree today with Eric Watson, so go the lads. See you later.
half time here at the game and uh, I've got Laurie Maines with me. How are you going, Laurie? Yeah, good. So what are your thoughts on the first half, especially playing into that win for Sunday? Oh, I, I would say that was an outstanding game plan and the execution by the players has been absolutely first class. I've seen some great skills out there and timing of passes and running into gaps of the highest order. Oh, awesome. I'll catch up with you after the game because I think you're talking anyway, so it'll be good. Yeah. Righto. Okay. Cheers. So we're here with Toops after the game, 50 to 7. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah, yeah, a lot of emotion around it, um, but it was pretty cool to get the win for the club on the 140th. Yeah, pretty hard in that first half, but you just did really well. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. We talked about just flushing it, next job, um, and the boys did that. Yeah, okay, it's a good Zingari side. You know, got to give them credit. They came out with the hiss and all at the start there. Yeah, and, and your performance, a couple of tries as well. Yeah, a bit of a throwback, yeah. Got the legs moving. I wasn't at training on Thursday, so maybe that's why. Maybe I'll stop training two times a week. I'll have a word of JL for you. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Tell for love, everyone. Welcome to Make By TV. Uh, we just finished the game here uh, against Singaree. We're here with Lotu and Connie Hello. holding a son. Hello. What's your son's name? Um, Kalolo Junior. Kalolo Junior. Hello, Kalolo. Tell for love. Happy Samoa's language week. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hey, what are your thoughts on the game today, Lotu? Uh, big shift from the boys, eh? Unreal start from the, from the starters, and then um, the Bombers came on and the bombers. put a nail on it. 
Yeah, nice. Mate, uh, tell us, what's your secret about making those line breaks, eh? You seem a bit slippery today. Oh, you know, went to the Malisi social last night. <laughs> I had a good night at Island of Fuda. And uh, yeah, just just keep chill vibes. Chill yeah. vibes, nice. Just playing footy, yeah. Stone cold. <laughs> the rock. The rock. Over to you there, AC. Thank you. No, no. Tell, tell us about that dive at the corner. Huh? <laughs> 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 First, first of all, I'd like to welcome uh, what was a great old foe when I was playing, Zingari. Welcome to Southern. Uh, it's good to have you here, and it, it's great that you're coming into the club rooms after your games. Um, I was fortunate in my career. I had two great coaches. Uh, one of them was Alan Stevens, for uh, Southern coach here for the first six or seven years I played senior rugby. And then I was very fortunate to be coached by Eric Watson, who was a, a, a great coach for Zingari uh, and an even greater coach uh, when he coached Otago and then went on to coach the All Blacks. The interesting thing for me uh, about Eric's coaching was Alan had a way of getting us to do things. And when I suddenly got into the Otago team and Eric's way, uh, there, there was no spare time. You didn't have time to learn. You were told what to do, and you just had to do it. He had great discipline within his team, always made it very, very clear what the game plans were, and there's one or two Otago forwards here that, that played under Eric. Um, they knew exactly what their role was, and uh, it, was, it was a great strength of his. And I've, I've got to say that uh, my not just my playing career, but my coaching career was forged largely by those two. When I started to coach, I can remember writing down a big list of what I believed Alan Stevens' strengths were and a, and a big list of, of Eric's strengths and tried to use those uh, and, and fit them into my personality. And there's a few of the boys here that uh, from our 1980s team that all that certainly got a feeling of what Eric coaching, Eric's coaching was like when, uh, when I started coaching them for Southern. Um, on today's game and presentation of, of this trophy, Harry, I want to congratulate you. You and JL, I've seen quite a lot of club rugby in my day. The first half today was a perfect game plan, perfectly executed by a very skillful team and every player in the team knew what they were doing. That's as good a 30, 40 minutes of, of club rugby that I think I've seen. And good luck to you for the rest of the year. Um, Harry, I assume this is the trophy. Uh, <laughs> fair bit of silver in that. Well done, Harry. Yeah, great game. Can you hear me tonight, Clarky? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I think uh, I, I got a great deal of pleasure last night uh, announcing Lindsay as a like member. What? What? I don't think anybody's played, anybody else has played 13 years in the senior team, played 254 games, I think it was, uh, played for 148, I think it was, for Otago, and... Uh, Memory's not that good, but uh, and seven games for the All Blacks. And uh, when you think of all the the uh, trainings and time that he's put into this club, and Lindsay was one of those guys who could be a bit of a clown at times and uh, very light. But when you come out coming up against one of those games, it really mattered that he needed to perform. Lindsay performed. And that's how he became an All Black. He could take on the best of the best. And I remember those battles with Keith Murdoch. And uh, he had come through those with a few scars. But uh, he produced the goods when Southern needed. So it was a great offer. Lindsay, come and get this. See, I couldn't get you on the feet.
Uh, but anyway, um, I appreciate uh, what you've given me here. Uh, last night it was a bit of a balls up with regards to you gave me the. Badge of us, the yeah, for the life membership of the club. And I didn't hear what was going on. I, I was, I'm dead. And uh, anyway, uh, it was uh, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, pride to be involved. In, and uh, anyway, I, I don't like talking up here, um, so I do a bit more than Thank you. So we're back here again, I'm here with Nikki, how are you going? Hi, good thanks Andrew, how are you? <laughs> this is the second time at it because I yeah, stuffed I that one up. So. so hopefully I can recall what I said the last time. Yep. So we'll go, who was your favourite player here at Southern? Well I don't know that we had favourites but I remember Ken Waterhouse being a really tough ass fucking, oh excuse me, um, up inside flanker and one of the stars of that team that when the women first started that, that was a really good team that we had there and through the years it's certainly been a lot more. I won't go into too many names because the memory's not as good as it used to be. And I see you got some photos down here in front of us, yeah, do you want to so explain who that? Here is, um, this is my, one of my uh, co team members. This is Smarty and Nikki Reddy and Megan Stanley Brown and all old girls and we also have a lovely picture of the late Sue Garden Bishop here. Um, so she played for us. Some people might not have known that when Stephen came down to play for Southern. Um, so yeah, so she sadly missed but she's going to have a drink with us here tonight. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you Nikki. Thank you. How you doing Kubu? Yeah good mate. Yeah. <laughs> I run our YouTube channel here on AC and Club Captain so 140 years, and uh, so what are your memories being back here at the club? Uh, great memories, you know, uh, great club, and I don't know, it's uh, good to be back and to see old faces. So who would your favourite Southern player be? Steve Hotton, I reckon. Hotty. Is oh, he here? Yeah, he was here last night. Oh, is he not here today? No, he's here. I'm sure he's around somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so what are your favourite memories of playing here at Southern? Uh, Game-wise? Jeez, I can tell you, it's been bloody that long. It's about 30, no, 45 years ago, so. You had some great players playing with you as well, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, thanks for that. We'll catch up with you later. No worries, cheers. Well, we, we, we found someone else to talk to. Uh, here you going, Dean Kenny. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thanks. 140 years at Southern. Have you got any thoughts on that? Amazing. And is that, And that this is uh, Shuey Robson. He came to. Uh, he came down. And all he uh, wanted to do was just come to Southern for a few beers, and next thing you know, found it was the 140th. <laughs> Quickest winger in Southern oh, in 1984. 1984. Played, for, played for Otago. Yep. He hasn't got the cauliflower here. <laughs> and, he, and he came over, and he, yeah, so it's been an amazing effort. So, so what was, well, who would your favourite player be here at Southern? Gary Sear. What about yourself? Favourite player at Southern? Yeah, Gary Sear. Gary Sear. Legend. Yeah. And, 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 and the great thing about Gary, I, I, I uh, came down here on his um, on his whim in 1979. I went and met up with the Otago boys and uh, Gary and uh, John Colling said, well, why don't you come down to Southern? So that's what I did in 1980, came down to Southern and uh, never looked back. And it's been the greatest club that I've ever, ever wanted to be associated with. It's been fantastic. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hi, hey, Ethel. How are you doing? I turned the camera off last night when you started talking about Gary Sear and the photo on the wall. I'd like you to actually talk me through that again. Oh, would you? <laughs> well, this photo over here, the one there, is uh, the photograph that when I was in England in 1977, I went to the game at uh, Parc des Princes, Paris, and um, there were about 60,000 in the stadium, and I reckon perhaps two knew what was going to happen when Gary kicked the penalty, a famous penalty. Anyway, that was a photo I, I saw in a magazine. I wrote to the publisher, said, can I have, the, can I have a, an enlarged photo, of, a copy of the photograph? He sent it to me, and I sent it to Alan Stevens, who was the coach back in New Zealand, and Alan got um, it framed. And, that was, and I wanted it because it was a great action photo. It was at everything that he had been taught by Alan Stevens as a coach about body position, how to hold the ball, and um, intent. 
and there was a lot of intent on Gary's face in that picture. So I just thought it was a great picture to send back. Yeah. And, and there it is. And so what are you? And what are your thoughts on um, his uh, life membership? Absolutely fantastic. I was just very, it was very emotional because my wife knew Julie and has known her for a long time and we've known her for a long time as well. And it was just fantastic to see that recognition happen last night. It was quite moving, quite moving. Yeah. Well, very, thank you for that, Ethel. Yeah. Very yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. As you can see, 140 years in Southern and, and the night's going to go very well. We could have caught up with a lot more people and talked to a lot more people, but the party's just about to start down here at Magpie Stadium and she's all full on. But another awesome day of rugby, another win for the Magpies and uh, we'll catch you on the side.